Have you ever wanted to make pixel art in Minecraft, but you're too lazy or you're just not good at building? Well, today I have the solution for you. What is up, crafters? Today we are going to take a look at the slash image command from the fast async world edit plugin. In a few minutes, you'll be a pixel art pro. Anyways, let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, you need to head on over to this website, SpigotMC, for Fast Async World Edit, and we're just going to download this. So it'll send you to their Jenkins page. So what you want to do is you want to download this, not this. This, this one's like huge. Download the small one, okay? Download this. So we'll just save that, and it'll take a little time to download. So while you wait, you can subscribe to Crafted Croy, yes. Okay, so since we are downloading a plugin, you will need to be running a paper or spigot server, okay? So I have a couple videos about how to do this, and now we just need to install it onto our server. A few moments later. Okay, so here we are in our server. As you can see, we have this. So we just have a plain paper server, 1.19.2. And here we go in our plugins. Now all we have to do, we just need to upload that plugin to here. Just, there we go. And give that a little bit to upload. It's, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a long time because this is 14. 2,000 years later. 100% uploaded. Okay, cool. Look at that. Now we'll just go to our console and restart our server. That's, that, that's as easy as it is. Three days later. Okay, so once we restart our server, if we do... PL, we can see that we have fast async world edit. And if we do ver, we can see that we're running 1.19.2 paper. Okay, so now that we have our paper server set up, you need to actually find the picture that you want to put into the game. Like you, you, you kind of need to have a picture. So I recommend a picture of about 100 pixels by 100 pixels. It's not that long and it'll be a lot easier to actually see with a smaller render distance and make sure it doesn't have too much value either and like too many gradients. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, so to resize your image, go to www.photopia.com. So this is basically like web-based Photoshop. So we want to click on new project and we can make our width 100 and our height 100 as well. You might even want to go a bit lower depending on your image. Then change the background to transparent and click on create. Now I have to drag and drop my picture in. I have this picture of Chuck E. Cheese. This is a good picture to import into the game because as you can see, there isn't a whole lot of value and it's like just a couple colors. So this would be a good one to import in. Now we can go to File, Export as PNG, and we can click on Save and save it. So now we want to head to imgur.com. So create an account for imgur. You can log in with Google. I, I don't think I have to explain how to create an account. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. And now we just want to upload our picture. Okay, so just drag your picture in. And here we go, we have this. We don't have to give it a unique title. You don't have to add tags. You don't have to add description. Just click on these three little dots, get share links, and then copy this, okay? Copy the BB code for forums, okay? Now, let's head in game. A few moments later. Okay, so now that we are in our server with Fast Async World Edit, make sure you op yourself. So you can do that by doing slash op and then your username. I recently made a video about this. I'm already op, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, all we have to do is we have to do image. So slash image then paste that in. But make sure to get rid of these like the brackets and the stuff inside the brackets like that. And then just push enter. Now give it a second. And there we go. Fast async world edit is a lot faster than world edit is. And look at this, we have Chuck E. Cheese. So as you can see, this kind of just gives you something from, oh, it's, it's, it's snowing. Of course, it, it had to snow. Ain't nobody getting tough, ain't nobody getting tough, ain't nobody getting tough for that. Okay. Nope, 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 we're not letting it snow. As you can see, there are a few things. So like we have this crimson planks, you might want to fix this up a little bit because it, it doesn't look that good right now. But so fix it up and it kind of just gives you a starting point. But yeah, you will want to fix this up. And let's say you want to rotate this so it's like on its side. So what you want to do, how do you basically use world edit? You go into one side of it, make sure it contains like everything and you slash slash pose one, okay? 
and then head to the other side, okay? And all the way over here. And then we'll just go over here, come down, and then do slash slash pose two. That way it contains the entire picture. And then we'll just go anywhere and do slash slash cut. This will cut it. And all those mobs will fall down. And yeah, look at all those <laughs> all those mobs. Okay. And so we will want to go over here and do slash slash rotate. And then zero. I think it's negative 90. Zero. If that doesn't work, then it might be something else. There we go. We have... We have our Chuck E. Cheese, but we, he's in the water, so we'll just move him up a little bit. And all that snow is right there, so don't do it in a snowy biome, okay? Okay. There we go. We have our Chuck E. Cheese now. And if we want to get rid of the snow, we can do slash slash replace near a distance. So we'll do 60 snow with air. And there we go. All that snow should be gone, except for the stuff that was outside of our 60 radius. So now we have like our picture in Minecraft. Now let's say we want to uh, like change some of this. So we want to get rid of this pink glazed terracotta and replace it with smooth sandstone. So we'll do our slash slash replace near and 60, or you can do more. But if you do too much, like a thousand, that might crash your server. So just be careful. And we want to do pink underscore glazed terracotta with some smooth how do you spell smooth? Smooth sandstone. And there we go. It looks a little bit better now, but it's not perfect. So you will need to fix this up a little bit unless you like have a really good picture. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it really helped you out and saved you time in making pixel art. And until next time, bye!